Welcome back to another thing. I'm Larry Menti. So we talked about the new economy and how unprepared we are for the new economy. So how do we get ready for it? We have two guests that are going to talk about just that. Joanne Presbury is with Code.org, and Andrea Bellina is a teacher at Bradley Beach Elementary School in New Jersey. She uses Code.org to teach code in elementary school. And I would imagine, Joanne, what you're thinking is everybody should be doing this Absolutely. right now. And why is that? Aren't we teaching code in enough schools? Well, you know, as a, as a person that teaches teachers throughout New Jersey and this tri-state area, no, we're not. You'll find it fascinating that probably only 80% teach coding in schools. Maybe even 80% or 90% do not teach coding in schools. Right. And, and so there's big school districts across the country. Huge. that, Except for some, uh, some special schools that they have, uh, uh, some, some schools that are set up just, for, just this, for this, they don't teach coding. So most kids, as they're going through elementary school, don't don't learn code, and what, what's going to happen as a result of that? Yeah, so when students, I mean only 2.4% of, of, of high school um, students graduate and go into computer science as a major. Well, that's going to be a gap. Over a million jobs will be available in the next like five years with no one to fill them. There's just no students out there that go into computer science as a major. So we will have, I mean, that can lead to a recession, that can lead to huge economic problems Absolutely. across the country. And you're, uh, I dare to say, one of the good ones, <laughs> in, in that you are teaching code. How did that come about? Um, well, the, uh, the uh, code.org Hour of Code initiative um, was brought to my attention, and I just jumped on board with that. And uh, not only did I teach my students how to do code, I teach the middle school students, um, but I have my middle school students teaching my younger students in the building how to do code. She's teaching this now, fifth through eighth grade. They go to high school, they may not have code. They go to high school, absolutely. I mean, the well, school that Bradley Beach feeds into doesn't have coding. They don't have a computer science class. Or if they do, it's maybe an elective. Exactly. So it's not something that um, they can um, always be able to continue with um, in districts. I would imagine to get a job in coding, you would have to continue through high school. No? It would really yeah, help. Yeah, and I agree. You know, what happens is, is if, you're, uh, if you go to school, K through 12, and then you take your first year freshman computer science class, you're likely to fail it. They're hard. Computer science is hard. It's difficult. Imagine getting, never having science from K to 12, never having math from 12, K to 12, and then taking your first class in, as a freshman, you're going to fail it. It's too hard. What is the resistance to it? Why, wouldn't, why don't school districts just embrace this if it's needed so much? Um, I think uh, teachers um, don't know it. They, you know. So is it the union that, that comes out against it? Is it the administration that comes out against it? Where, where is the blockade? Uh, I think it's just uh, teachers that are qualified in technology. Um, They're not available. Yeah, but I can they so. get jobs with it? I mean, that would, they'd have to either create more jobs or get rid of other teachers, right? Um, well, I, I think it's really a matter of the teachers um, are, you know, they know education, but they don't know coding or s computer science, and uh, they're, they're just, they don't know that piece of education, so then that, there's a lack of skill in, in how to teach computer science, because they don't know computer science as a subject. Yeah, and, I would, and that's where I come in, because I say, teachers, you're teachers. You know how to teach. That's your gift. Teaching computer science is just another subject matter. I will give you all the tools. You don't have to be an expert in the field because as a teacher, you're not going to be an expert in this field. It's constantly evolving. So if you teach the teachers to say that, guess what? You're not going to be an expert. You're used to being an expert in your field. In this field, you want to be the facilitator of knowledge. You're going to give them all the tools that they need for 21st century career. But I don't want to lay this all on the teachers or the unions yeah. because if this were in the curriculum, let's say you have Common Core right now and you have to teach the kids for Common Core so they can pass the standardized test. If this was part of the standardized test code, if it was in the curriculum, everybody would embrace everybody. it. Do you believe that has to happen? I believe it definitely yes. has to happen. Both of you do? Yes. yes. And you know, because the teachers are resistant also because something's got to give. What am I going to take off my plate? I am so, I, I'm, I'm mandated to do this testing, so I can't, something's got to give. What am I going to take out in order to put this in? 
And where does that start? I mean, do you, do, does does code.org, do you push legislation? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, they, they push it so hard that the state of New Jersey's changed legislation to have um, computer science count as math or science requirement for high school graduation. The state of Florida is now changing it so that it can be used for a foreign language. So it's starting, you'll see it's starting to evolve over but the But you next really year. have to change Common Core, don't you? I mean, because Common Core is now being taught around, it has to be part of that curriculum. Yeah, and now code.org, I mean, our curriculum is aligned to all the Common Core. So I say to teachers, when you're teaching uh, cause and effect, for example, you're teaching if-then statements. If this happens, then do this. That's cause and effect. It's just retraining and reteaching teachers. You teach it already, now start doing, learning about the computer science piece of it. We're almost out of time, but the kids pick it up pretty quick? They do. Um, even, uh, I mean, well, first of all, I do have all my students learning code, but even the kids that struggle every day in the classroom, they've learned code well enough that they can teach a younger student. Yeah, and I would imagine it's, it's much easier to learn when you're young, like a foreign language, than when you're my age. It, then yes. it's difficult, because I've tried. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate great. you coming. Thank you, for, Thank you very much. It's Joanne Presbury from Code.org and Andrea Bellina, who is a teacher at Bradley Beach Elementary School in New Jersey. When we return. We actually have the power to improve our health just by the daily choices we make in the foods we eat.